Hey guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to the finale of season three of Is the Order a Rabbit? So let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Okay. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Cocoa. Why do I feel like this might be a New Year's episode? Aww. <laughs> Aww. so pretty i miss these kids oh my god like no the, the fact that this is the last episode we don't even know if this show is gonna get a season four but it just oh my god it, it hurts so much because okay going into next year and the fact that chino's va plays um itsuki in the quintessential complex no, i can't say it quintessential quintuplets um it'll be nice to hear her again but not her chino voice i, I think the only way that I'll be able to hear it again is watching that Sleeping Princess show and I might end up doing a reaction on it because so many people told me that show was so freaking good between that and um Kuma Kuma Bear and that was something that I also really wanted to watch as well but because I didn't have a lot of time yeah so that would be if I had two more shows well would I count shows from a previous season on the not really I don't know. <laughs> and then, yeah, no mocha. No mocha. No cocoa mom. No cocoa sister. Oh my god, are you serious? This is how we're ending this season. No <laughs> family member made an appearance for cocoa, but in the opening. That's a little messed up, though. I wanted it, but you know, hey, you, you gave me Chino's mom. You gave me no way. Oh! <laughs> this is what I wanted. Oh my god. Thank you, oh my god. <laughs> Mocha, it's okay. You can always go see her. That's right. Mm -mm. Poor baby, she tried. Okay, I got you. Okay, all right, hold on, puppy. Okay, there you Sweet. Look at her with her little tippy hat. Oh my god! Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Not only that, but that's also darkness. <laughs> mm. Poor baby. It's snowing. food I literally ate like it's three o'clock now like about two hours ago and I was supposed to record I ate macaroni and cheese and um sweet potatoes oh my god I was like ah thank you so cute <laughs> I got so sleepy that I didn't want to record but I was like I gotta get this done oh That's right, Tino. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> and plus, even if she did go to Mocha's high school, she even never met you guys, you know? <gasps> oh, thank you! But it suits you. You look so cute. Aww. <laughs> 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 Really? Oh, picture book, probably, yeah. Your mama glides in an airhead of the guy. Oh, is it Chino's mom? Nana Mizuki? Oh my god. So you, I'm, uh, I'm tearing up right now. Oh my god. So you're telling me that no matter what, Coco and Chino have always been connected because they're moms. Oh.
Oh, yeah, see, Coco is spewing the realness because it don't even feel like it either. I mean, you know, when Christmas came, it didn't really truly feel like Christmas because of our situation. And I feel like New Year's isn't really going to feel like New Year's either. I'm going to buy a figure of this child, I swear to God. <laughs> really? <laughs> Can we just talk about how Chia has like the best fashion for fall? I mean, for fall, winter. I mean, Liz got it too because some of the outfits Liz wears, I'm like, oh my god, I want those. But like Chia, and I still can't believe this freaking Ritsu's freaking VA for Kayon. But she's so girly. I love it. Oh my god, I just want her outfits. True. Hmm? I figured it would be Chino. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Tippy. Oh, that's so pretty. See, if I ever get a house, your girl done buy some paintings. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> yeah <laughs> oh those are beautiful oh my god So my mom was on TikTok and she saw someone make a cookie in a waffle maker. I was like, ah! <laughs> mm. You should sue. <laughs> you put 
precious baby. Oh my god. Kinda. <laughs> oh. Well, would you like to go somewhere? Just maybe how they could go see Coco with mom and sister or something. I don't know. <laughs> oh. Yeah, uh huh. Exactly. Angels, of course. You know, you're all supposed to move your legs as well so that it looks like a dress. But it's like, <laughs> oh. Hell, you know what? Even Chino has good behind style from like season one to season three, plus the OVA. Amazing style. Come on. You know what I really want? I want a spinoff of this show. Specifically about her mom and when her mom was growing up and everything. That would be so nice. And then we get to see Coco with mom. Like, oh, that would be so good. I love it. It's a good idea. I'm um, about to tear up again over this show. <laughs> Hmm? 
Precious baby. Okay. Final thoughts on season three. This was a really good season. I mean, oh my god. The things that all these girls went through, the transition from, you know, Maya Megu and Chino going from middle school to high school. I still wish we could see it if this show gets a season four. Who really knows? Because the way that they're showing all of this, I think, what, is this everything from like season one to season three? And it seems like we're not going to get a season four. I still want it. It could happen. You never know. I want to see them travel together. That would be nice. They could do it in a damn movie or something. But I really love this show a lot. Going back to last year and how I binged it and finished two seasons in an OVA like that. And, you know, being atta attached to these kids and seeing their stories, their hopes, their wants, their dreams, everything. Loving all these characters no matter what and just <laughs> crying over them and everything and always being happy. This show always put a smile on my face. Always made me laugh. Honestly, I will forever miss it. I, I think dead ass. I might have to buy a figure. Not even might. I will be buying a figure either of my child Chino because Chino is the best girl of the series. And honestly, she's just so fucking adorable. Everybody is adorable. I think the cast... I don't know who played Maya Megu, and I think, if I'm right about this, one of them played Nico in Love Live, and, and my money is probably, like, Megu, possibly, maybe? I don't know. I'll have to look. Aww. <clears throat> yeah, everybody feels like that. Chino. I know. I am dead. Like, honestly. Best freaking girl. Like, you cannot tell me freaking Chino is the best girl because she is. Oh, my God. Like, <laughs> I love her so much. Like, oh, my God. The ranking or the running of best girl for, well, I already know, who, in my opinion, who my best girl 2020 is. It's Slim Miller from Aguidama Drive. But, really, she... Chino is a close second. I would, if I had to, I would put both, um, ordinary slash swindler and Chino at number one because I love them both. My Thursdays and my Saturdays always felt better when I was watching these two shows, and they always made me truly happy. They made me laugh. They made me cry. There were times maybe when I was watching this show and I kind of got a little upset, but it wasn't like in a cute good way because I was like, what the fuck? But I loved it a lot and I will t miss this show terribly because I don't know how I'm going to feel, you know, coming once I watch Love Live and Izzy, um, not Izzy Order Rabbit, Irregular Magic High School finale. But this show was so good. I hate the fact that, you know, we may not get something else for this. I didn't really look on like, um that Annie Twitter page that I uh, follow on Twitter and then a couple of the pages I haven't seen anything for a possible season four I don't think because normally because like as of what today um 
a regular yeah a regular magic high school announced a spinoff with my best girl and so thank god that that's happening and that's being animated and that's coming out this year well not really this year next year but your girl's excited about it because best girl miyuki because but i think you know i might have to check the twitter page for this just to see if it's gonna get something because yeah i would love to see these girls travel hell like backpacking around somewhere where they get a whole bunch of money together because you know everybody's working except maya and megu but everybody is working and you know they go somewhere together and they all hang out and everything and you know reminisce i still want that spinoff with you know chino's mom just to hear nana mizuki but i feel like now with like nana mizuki's schedule i, I mean because we don't all know this um, all I know is, like, the only thing Nana Mizuki is currently signed up for for 2021 is Tokyo Babel, uh, Babylon 2021, which is that clamp series, that 90 clamp series that did, like, a three OVA series for it, which is really, really good. Highly recommend that to anybody because that is, is so freaking good. But even though Nana Mizuki is not in that original one, please watch it. It's so good, but I cannot wait for the newer version, even though it's getting, it got delayed for some reason about clothes. Um, but yeah, I would love to have like a spinoff of this or, you know, still season four to see these girls, you know, Liz going into college and everyone else it, continuing their high school careers until eventually they all graduate and then yeah I mean because that's what I wanted for Kayon and even though I didn't get it for Kayon I want it for this <laughs> I really do I mean honestly yeah really I, I'm, I'm gonna miss this show so much it, it's gonna be weird these next Saturdays not having this show and you know, be like, oh my god, it's, is the Order of Rabbits Saturday? And then you're like, damn, this is the last episode. Because that's how I felt on Thursday with Akudama Drive. I was like, oh my god, it's the last episode. After this, there is no more Akudama Drive. And so I even, it's been like two, three days now since Thursday. And I still feel empty after that. So now I've, as I'm having this, I feel like even emptier that this show is over and that both of these shows that I really enjoyed this season are over and I don't know what to do now. It's just so upsetting. I, I, I know some people probably feel the same way, you know, like how I really truly feel and there's some people who are like, oh my god, get over it because it's just a show. But when you get attached to a story and to characters really, really quickly and maybe it's like a slow burn in a way or slowly, it's harder to say goodbye. And that's what it feels like. I felt like that Thursday. I rewatched the last episode of Akudama Drive like at least four times and I couldn't stop crying. And <laughs> it was just so heartbreaking the fact of everything. And I, I'm tearing up again because I can feel myself getting ready to cry. And I feel the same with this because I feel like we're never possibly going to get something. And I hate the fact that I say never because you never know what could truly really happen. But it's just sad because I feel like we won't see these girls again and it hurts so much because I love these girls so much and everything and I hate the fact that I'm crying right now. Oh my god. It just sucks. It sucks so bad. So, so bad. And I'm gonna miss them. I'm gonna miss everybody in this show. This show is just so freaking good. <laughs> Oh god, okay. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards season 3 of Izzy Order a Rabbit. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next week for the start of Winter 2021 anime. Other than that, happy holidays, and I will see you guys all next time. Bye!